Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and I am a reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. Today's video is another Goodwill Bins thrift haul. Um, I've got quite a few items here, so let's go ahead and jump in. Um, everything that I find is from the Goodwill Bins, also known as the Goodwill Outlet, where you pay by the pound. I believe my bins charges around $1.59 per pound. Um, after I get everything home and divide everything up, um, that normally comes about out to about a dollar to a dollar fifty per item so super low cost of goods um, but let's get started I've got one accessory here today and that is actually kind of a no brand item um, um, sort of like this cherry leather uh, backpack bag it does have straps at the back it does have like a zippered pocket um, and I do believe that this is new without tags it has like this little like I think you can like monogram this but this is just attached with like a little like plastic barb uh, but this thing looks like it was never used at all so super fun honestly not really sure how much this would go for um it's a little bit dusty <laughs> but um, i'm gonna go ahead and get this guy photographed and listed this next one this was an exciting find especially at the bins uh new with tags if i can find the top there we go <laughs> new with tags free people so this is a sort of like a stretch um it's like a weird I don't know i don't even know what this fabric is called it is pretty sheer it's yeah pretty sheer fabric but this kind of like lightweight top um, has buttons in the front it's got these sleeves with like a little ruffle at the end but i mean new with tags from the bins um this retailed for 78 dollars. so normally when things are new with tags i kind of start them off at about half price so you know, $34, 35 bucks, maybe. Um, we'll see, depending on the style. But yeah, super, super cute. Super happy to find that, especially new tags from the bins. Love it. Uh, these next two, very similar styles. Both of them, I think, are just vintage brand. Uh, this one, Britches by The Great Outdoors, size medium, 100% cotton corduroy. Come on now. <laughs> Here we go. A uh, corduroy shirt jacket or a shacket. Um, I have sold so many of these and especially in the fall weather, they sell so well. And this one's like a really pretty kind of like darky green teal color. Um, these ones, I sold one the other day for, I think it was like 42. So I don't know if that one will go for quite that much, um, but probably around the 35 mark is what I would expect for these, especially being vintage. This one is a different brand. It's called Specialty Collection, also a size medium, 100% cotton corduroy, very similar style, just more of an orangey color. Super cute. Next up, this is Prana. So I don't find this brand all that often, but I came across these Prana shorts. They are size eight. So little kind of like, they almost look like hiking shorts. They've got like the really like oversized front pockets, uh, button fly, just, you know, like bread and butter Prana. And this next one, okay, so this is a brand that I have never found. Um, I found a dress from them and I've found jeans, but this is Paige um, and I have never found a skirt, but this is just a sort of like a lightweight denim skirt and it has like this little ruffled accent coming down the front here. I did look up the style for this one and I did find out that it's actually missing its belt. It used to have a belt for this. Um, so that will probably, well, it probably will affect the amount that I can sell it for. But I still think that it is a good brand and it's got like a really cute kind of like ruffled hem and raw hem at the bottom. So I'm not worried about that one selling. I'll probably list it for like $28, which is my normal. Uh, next up, <laughs> bread and butter piece i think this one this one's just ann taylor loft size 10 i got this one because it has got the cutest embroidery it's got a scalloped hem right here uh, very bread and butter but i thought that it would sell super super quick and a really great sort of style as well 
This next one, this one, I was so excited to find this. I have only found this brand once ever, and that is Misa Los Angeles. So there are some pieces that can sell super well, and there are some pieces that will sit for a while. Um, hopefully this one sells pretty well. Um, I think the comps on this one looked pretty good, but let me actually just tie this up real quick. I had this one sitting on my mannequin in the last video, if you saw. So it has sort of like this um, halter top, and then it's an open back maxi dress. It actually, you know, it might be a midi dress. I might need to kind of measure it or look back at my photos. I can't really remember, but super cute. I think the last thing that I sold from this brand was like a, just a tiny like little mini skirt, and that one sold, I think it was like $50 around. So um, this one, I mean, at least, I would hope that I could at least get $75 for this. Could I get close to 100? Potentially, I will look up some comps, but super cute kind of pink floral midi maxi dress from Misa. Um, I was so excited to find that at the bins and it was something, it was like, it was like um, after everybody had like done the rounds and left, it was like still sitting there. And I was like, why did everybody leave this behind? Uh, this one, just a boutique brand. Um, I do pick up this brand a lot. It's called Entro. I just like their style of a lot of their pieces. And this one's no different. This pink sort of leopard print blouse. Got these really cute sort of like flounce sleeves and then a peplum cut. But super, super cute and vibrant. And I think Entro always has their sizes down at the bottom. Let me see. This is a size extra large, although it does seem to run a little bit big. This seems a little bit big for an extra large, but super, super cute. Next up, another bread and butter piece. This is Beach Lunch Lounge, a size large, another sort of gauzy tie-dye kind of like lightweight piece and just a button down. It does have these rolled sleeves right here. Um, but yeah, very sort of beachy, coastal. All right, next up, this one's definitely one of my favorite brands to sell. That is Soft Surroundings, a size petite, large. This is a cowl neck sort of sleeveless mini dress and it does actually have a smocked waist here. Uh, which is super great. It's this kind of like a strangely knit material. I'm not actually sure. Let me see if I can find the tag here. So it's a, it's just a polyester in a spandex knit, um, but I thought it was like really strange. It's like a, it's got like a really weird sort of feel to it. Let me see if I can like close up on there. Yeah, not sure, but you know, cow neck, sleeveless, smocked waist, neutral colors. I don't think I'll have any problem selling that guy. And so this next one, this is another one of my favorite brands to sell. It's Mod Cloth, size extra large. It is this white cotton. Wow, the camera's like really trying to like adjust for coloring here. This thing is like crisp white, but I don't know if it really looks that white on camera. Oh well. Uh, this sort of sleeveless tiered mini dress and it has all of these little like red and teal kind of like pom-poms all over it like little like pom-pom almost like swiss dots in a way there we go focus on it yeah uh but super cute cut especially being tiered and it has actually a little bow on the back that you can tie um this one i did look up comps for this and they seem to be a little bit like all over the place some of them were like 20 dollars, some of them were like 38 dollars. so i went ahead and picked it up um, and we will see for that one but especially being a size extra large um, i think yeah it's better that it's a larger size um, next up lauren ralph lauren this is another brand that i really love and i have sold quite a few of these, which are their 100% cotton shirt dresses. Uh, this is either a shirt dress or I think some of them are actually more like nightgowns, but it does have like the roll tab sleeves, um, buttons all the way down the front. And this one is actually kind of like a, it just looks so dark on camera, but it's actually a really nice sort of like pastel um, like light pastel colors in it. So I think this one is super cute. I may be holding on to this until like the springtime, but 
yeah, super cute. Um, I think I said this is a size medium as well. Next up, so this is a brand that I've actually been finding a lot of things from this brand recently. I found a new tags piece as well when I went last week, um, but that is UMG. I really do enjoy selling UMG pieces. I love the style. Um, size is small. This is a linen blend. It's very wrinkled, <laughs> sort of tiered um, mini dress. It does have these kind of like raw hem um, like accents on there, but yeah, mini dress. It's like a bluey teal linen blend. So I'll use all those same keywords of like beachy, boho, coastal, lightweight. There's more. I'll probably put lag and look in there. Um, yeah. So next up, another brand. I do not sell this brand all that often, but I came across this and I thought it was honestly just really cute and perfect for the season. That is a Calvin Klein performance size extra large. Um, it's actually a boucle knit cowl neck or is this a turtleneck? Could be like a cowl neck. Yeah, I would say it's more like a cowl neck. I guess you could technically fold it up to be a turtleneck, but I don't know. We'll have to find a stock photo and figure that one out. But a performance sweater, boucle knit, um, it does have a little bit of a dolman sleeve on there, if you can see, but it has this really cute kind of cross front, which I thought really kind of elevated it a bit, and that's why I decided to pick it up. But yeah, just a classic sort of like athletic sweater, perfect for the times. Uh, this one, another one, another new with tags from the bins. This is just loft size medium but it does have this really pretty sort of cable knit design on the front, sort of like an off-white creamy sweater. I did find another one that was super similar to this a few, I would say maybe like a month, a month and a half ago, and it sold super quickly. And it was the very similar style, like the cable knit cream. Um, but yeah, I will go ahead and get that guy listed. Another sort of bread and butter, and that is J. Crew size two. This is actually a really cute dress. I definitely need to lint roll it. I'm seeing quite a bit of fluffs on it, but it is this sort of like thick, it's got like a thick kind of strap, but it's a sleeveless um, black Swiss dot dress. So the Swiss dots are like the little um, kind of textured dots that you see on here. Is it gonna focus? Those are what, um, what are called like Swiss dots, but Swiss dot <laughs> uh, fabric, it has a really cute kind of ruffled hem. It's almost like it reminds me of those like mermaid dresses that kind of like hug your hips and then they like flare out like right at the bottom. That's sort of the vibes that I'm getting from this dress, but uh, ruffled at the top, it's got a back zipper, um, super cute, lots of like really cute kind of sellable factors in there. So. Yeah, just classic bread and butter piece. I think I could probably get maybe 32, 35 on that one. This next one. So this one, I may be holding on to this one for a while, but it was new a tag. So I decided to go ahead and grab it. Um, it is this almost like gold zebra print swimsuit. And it is like a tankini, whoops, 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 a tankini top um as i said this one was new with tags it's from swimsuits for all i have sold uh swimsuits from swimsuits for all and i don't remember how much they sold for i think like around the 30 dollar mark uh, but it's a size 42d so great size um super cute kind of pattern as well so and the tankini style is also really popular um, as like some of the more mature brands so yes um, next one, this guy, super wrinkly. I don't know what happened here. I did steam all of this before I photographed it, but I may have to steam this one again. Uh, this is Maeve, size zero. So Maeve is an anthropology brand, but this really lovely, um, dress. <laughs> it's got sort of this like plaid pattern, really kind of oversized pockets here at the front. Um, and this, if I remember correctly, let me see. So the, the outer shell is a cotton and silk blend, 70% cotton and 30% silk. So a silk blend dress, super cute. 
um yeah again that might be more something that i hold on to a little bit until the spring but i'm gonna go ahead and get it listed um somebody somewhere may want it <laughs> now that would be great uh this one this was actually a super super exciting find this was actually a throwback so i found it sort of like off to the side somebody had very clearly taken it out of the clothing bins um taken it off to the side to look at it decided they didn't want it and threw it back so this is a oh wait i actually need this down hold on all right here we go so this is a uniqlo it's uh their white mountaineering jacket i'll just show you that um logo here white mountaineering and this is quite a heavy weight uh black i wouldn't quite say it's a puffer jacket but it does have a bit of like fluff to it i'm not sure what the right word is for that but this jacket and let me see what is the inside made of so it is so it is a 90% down filled jacket. So it does have a little bit of puff to it, um, but you can just tell it's such high quality. And I looked up the comps for this and it looked like a lot of them were selling, like some of them were listed upwards of like $100. The actual solds I think were around 70 to $80, but I'm very happy with that. Just like a black, um, kind of like an all weather down filled jacket super cute i think the only reason that the original person threw it back is that there's a couple like lines on the back i don't even know if you can really see them like yeah just like lines and i i don't honestly i'm not really sure what they are um i tried to like get like um a little bit of like a like a baby wipe and try and wipe them off and they did not go come off but if somebody wants to try and wash it they can do that but I was very happy to find this in a throwback. If I could get 50 bucks for it, I would be ecstatic. I would be so happy for that. So, a nice jacket. Um, a couple bread and butter pieces. This is an Athleta leggings. These are just gray, classic Athleta leggings. They are, I believe they may be capri length and they do have a mesh panel over here. And then another pair of leggings. These are Free People, We the Free. No, 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 I lied. Uh, free People Movement. So they're like movement athletic division of Free People. Um, these are a size, it's like slightly faded, a size extra small green leggings. And the reason I got these is that they actually had um, a sort of like cutout here at the bottom these like two little cutout slits so I thought that elevated it just a little bit but honestly I I'm not expecting very much for these maybe $20 um, I know they don't really go for that much all right we are almost at the end so this one this one did not have a tag on it although I need to check the RN number it does it's kind of look like Kato it does have a size tag but not a brand tag so if you know that Side, that size tag it does look very similar to kato but i'll have to double check but new without tags i just thought the style was so cute um little very fall floral but it got these little like ruffled accents uh blouse here it's got long sleeves again with like the little ruffled cuffs um super cute kind of bread and butter piece and it does have a smocked um sort of like um neckline shoulder area but yes very fall i'm gonna go ahead and try and get that one listed so maybe someone would wear it for thanksgiving maybe maybe all right next up this is another super bread and butter piece for me that is chico's it's the chico's size 1.5 so I don't normally love picking up Chico's. Anything under a Chico's 2 or even honestly like a Chico's 2.5, I don't love picking it up, but this was a really cute style. Um, it's a pair of jeans. Is there a... It just says ankle length. I'm not sure if it... I would say maybe, maybe just like a tapered fit, but Chico's jeans and it does have some raw... Not even like raw hem. It's like a distressed with little like jewel accents and then at the bottom it's got this big cuff here with this embroidery so 
yeah and then it's got more embroidery over here so lots of little accents on here that i think will help it to be sellable but yeah classic chico's um jeans i have sold quite a few of those like chico's embroidered jeans before so i have no problem thinking that those will sell all right so almost done second to last piece uh this is a free people size large this kind of orange i'm not even sure what this material is it is very like reminiscent of a terry cloth but it's just it's not quite it's not quite a terry cloth but long sleeve it's actually got a slightly flared sleeve tie front blouse i probably need to give this one another steam you can see all the wrinkles are back in the the material there but i'll give it a steam again the next piece uh this is a new to me brand i originally picked it up and i was like this feels like some sort of wool or some some something a little bit more um substantial than just like i don't know like polyester or like acrylic or something and i was right uh it is um 65 royal alpaca and 35 percent recycled nylon i'm not quite sure what royal alpaca means but alpaca knit um so the brand is called paca and what actually drew my attention is over here it says handmade by and then there is a name written in so that is what initially prompted me to just do a little bit more research about this piece and i'm so glad that i did uh, their sweaters retail for quite a bit um, i think this one it's just their like classic unisex hoodie retails for 140 dollars um handmade in i think it's a peru did i read that handmade by somewhere i read peru somewhere maybe it was on the website but yes this really lovely handmade alpaca knit sweater it is a very sort of like relaxed fit it is a size extra large which i do think it is oversized because you've got like really long sleeves here you've got a hood um yeah very sort of like silky smooth alpaca knit um yeah super cute i have no idea what i will list this one for i feel like i'll probably list it in the 50 dollars range and go from there that's kind of what i'm thinking uh right now that is everything i really hope you guys like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below i am gonna get i'm gonna try and get all of this stuff listed as soon as possible i feel like i've been really bad about saying that i'm gonna get stuff listed and then it's like weeks later and i'm like wait I haven't I haven't listed this yet like this was in a haul like a month ago so I'm gonna do my best and get it all listed as soon as possible but I will see you guys in the next video have a good one bye